RC Guy Garage here. Yes, I am still alive and we're taking a trip. I guess you could say I, I can't think of anything better to do today than to sit in Jaguar, the heat on. I got my seat heater on and I am on my way to Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Mass. I haven't been in a while, man. I'm looking forward to see what the, well, I mean, I was there when the low seat dropped. You know what I mean. Like, see, going, going to Taunton. So there you go. Well, I was saying was that I can't think of any better thing to do. I mean, it's freezing cold outside. It's supposed to be like a uh, negative eight or something like that tonight. So, I can't think of anything better than to go down to Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Mass, and maybe check out and see if they've got any um, winter RCs. You know, like indoor stuff. Let's go check it out. These trailer brake marks have been going for about a mile already. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that, uh, yeah, some of these air brakes got stuck. Holy crap. And they just kept going with it. They even tried the rumble strip, too. Look at this dude. No way. The dude didn't even get off the highway. He just kept going. Dude, the guy is a moron. How would you have not felt that? Seen it? But you weren't checking your mirrors, guy? Holy crap, dude. You can see the tires are giving out. Oh, my God, dude. Why didn't you get off the highway? telling you man sometimes drivers just don't make sense man it looks like he's pulled off over here looks like he realized oh it looks like the back of my truck's on fire well then again maybe not dude no way I don't even know if you could see that looks like he tried some more rumble strip oh my god dude this is the longest Longest that I have ever seen a lockup. Just dragged. Look at you can see the tires just giving out. Holy crap! Oh man! Oh wait a minute! I think he pulled over over there. I don't see the marks anymore, unless he's rumble stripping it. No, nope, I just saw a couple black marks. I think. Wow, dude. I think it's rumble strip. I can't tell right now. That was nuts, man. Holy smokes. Well, if I see more marks, I'll let you know. Never mind. There's more marks. You can see he's right on the rumble strip. He's right on the white line and the rumble strip. Look at it. And then he comes out. Look at that. Holy crap. Goes back into the rumble strip. Comes back out. Holy, this has got to be the same truck, dude. There's like nothing left for Taya. I want to know when he starts. Oh, there we go. There we go. Looks like he realized now, I think. Looked like a pull-off right there. Maybe not. I don't know, man. I'm still seeing mocks. This is nuts. No, there we go. There's more mocks. He's got wheel hop. Look at that, dude. Wheel hopping. I wonder when this happened. Oh, man. Dude, I kept thinking like he pulled off. Nah, he's wheel hopping it. Look at that. Look, Look at all the hot marks. Well, I mean, I can see him. I don't know if you can see him, but holy crap, dude. Look at There's some more black marks. Oh, I think we got rim. Look at that. Dude, we got some dick marks, I think. Holy crap, dude. Look at this. This is the longest point or longest I've ever seen trail lockup and someone not do something about it. Like, what do you do? You just stay behind the guy and film him as his truck's on fire? Not his truck, but his trailer. You know what I'm getting at. Holy crap. I still see mocks. How does something like that even happen? How do you not feel that, dude? Your trail is going like this. You're wheel hopping. I still see mocks. Look at wheel hopping right on the right. On the right. 
single line, wheel hopping. I don't know. Maybe it's gone. I think these are him too. Uh, the thing obviously came out of Cisco over in Plimpton. That's pretty crazy, man. Earl kind of had a funny thing he said. He says, yeah, sometimes it's just drive truck collect check. And I think that must have been one of those drive truck collect check kind of situations where when do you make that decision that you just don't care, that you just keep going? Your trail is hopping, you just keep going. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't hopping, maybe you didn't feel it, I don't know, man. Whatever. Oh, freaks! This way you can see exactly where I am. Exit the traffic circle onto US 44 West, then take the I-495 North ramp. I-495 North Ramp. Talking about this one right here. I-495 North. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-495 North. Getting there. How much further? Got 21 miles in 21 minutes. <laughs> Does that mean I'm going 100 miles now? <laughs> 21 miles in 21 minutes. The heck is that? I really feel like I'm tired of being behind this Volvo thing here. Jaguar is getting some kind of like odd wind turbulence. Looks like I'm far away, but I'm like uh, two car lengths away, I think. Maybe one safe car length. <laughs> kind of thinking about this one right here, right? Because obviously I'm in Jaguar, right? And Jaguar's not. Try 95 North toward Boston. I got gotcha. you. But I was thinking like these self-driving cars, right? Do they, like, are they all over the highway as well? Or are they somehow just better at driving than humans are? I kind of, like, would like to experience what it's like to be in one of these self-driving cars when it's wicked windy out because, yeah, man, dude, Jaguar is not like it's a brick either. It's not like I'm driving a sandwich box. Jaguar is all over the place. And it's not a bread box either. It's not a brick. It's kind of low and kind of streamlined. I feel like it cuts through the air the way the front end is designed, but man, this thing is all over the place. Jaguar, it definitely was, wasn't was as economical as it usually is. Fry 95 North toward Boston. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I think like Jaguar is pushing some wind today. Like I said, man, this thing is like literally all over the place. It's crazy. So I got to take uh, 33A, which is this one right here is what it's saying. Take exit 33A. You got it. Coming in hot. Oh, super clear. Johnny Law. Just past Johnny Law back there. Continue on I-95 <laughs> Take exit 13B. Coming in hot. In a quarter mile, merge onto Massachusetts 140 North Commercial Street. Come on, Jaguar. Do we have 33 miles an hour coming off the off -road? Nice. Look at that glare. What the heck? Gonna get rid of that glare. I guess I can. Well, we're almost there anyway, so let's go uh, check out Hobby Quarters and see what they got. Maybe we'll get them some donuts. Oh, we got the big money truck behind us, dude. We got the snap-on truck behind us. A real snap-on truck. Not one of them fake X-Max snap-on trucks, but the real one right there. That, that is one of those money trucks, man. That is, that is you got no paycheck left because your entire paycheck for the 30 to 40 years that you're a mechanic just goes to that truck back there. Still glare? Can't even tell. I think there's still glare. Oh, it's horrible. Look at that. Garbage. Garbage, man. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Central Street. No, I'm not going to do that. Why does it have me go on Central Street when all I got to do is turn up here somewhere and pull into Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. And I turn right into right here. See where it says do not pass? There we go, right here. Pull over here. Hobby Quarters is right there. 
gonna stop at a Dunkin' Donuts. Go ahead and get them a dozen donuts. It's not a butter up, it's just they deserve it, man. So we're here. Can I get a dozen assorted, please? Anything else? That's it. Yeah, no. Yeah, you can go, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. What do you mean, Paul? I'm always reading that backwards like I'm dyslexic. Because I am dyslexic. You didn't know that? Bobby Coy is right there. Whoa, this thing's almost flew out of my hand. Holy crap, dude. It is so windy out today. Special delivery. Oh my god, it's windy. Now, I am just making an assumption, and I don't know, but I think that Audi is Jeremy's. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that's his. Lock the thing here. Make it safely across. We got our Dunkin' Donuts for Hobby Quarters. That's gotta be Jeremy's car. Oh, what is that? Come on. Other door. Am I way too early? So I'm not walking around with it. Good morning, Ashley. Oh, what's up? How are you? Good. Good, good, good. What's going on? What's Nothing. Happening? Told you I'd come back. Mike, what's happening? Hey, howdy, hey, and hello. How are you? How are you doing this morning? I'm good. Very good. I'm good. I'm glad you made it through the uh, the the Arctic tundra weather out Dude, there. It's gonna be crazy. Negative what eight tonight? It's I like, know. Holy crap! I know. No I got the space heater running at home. Fire hazard. Time. <laughs> Fire hazard. Yeah, I'm gonna get it pretty warm when I get back. Nice. So this pet cooks do not last long. We are already through. decided to go ahead and clean me out. So we got right here, we've got XRTs with the screws, XRTs without the screws. We have Outcast front bumper mounts. We also have Creighton front bumper mounts. These right here haven't even been released onto the store, the orange color. That's exclusive right now, at least exclusive today for uh, Hobby Quarters. And then obviously we've got the green. He chose the strapped in white. The Hobby Quarters has the brand new Sky RC GPS encapsulator in orange with a blue strap. This is an exclusive color right here. So come on down to Hobby Quarters over here. Get your uh, RC Guy Garage uh, 3D printed stuff. And uh, I'm going to litter a couple of stickers around the store. So if uh, you come into Hobby Quarters, uh, keep an eye out for the RC Guy Garage team not one bad stickers. So here we go.